This is Abha. 15 of the 19 September 11 hijackers came from here in Saudi Arabia's rugged and conservative southwest. Many believe Osama bin Laden chose them deliberately in an attempt to destroy strong US Saudi relations. But there are much bigger problems. In rare access to the closed kingdom, we confront charities designated by the United States as fronts for funding Islamic terror and discover a deep-rooted anger at United States policies across the Middle East. As tension between Arabs and America grows, one man stands out as seeing it from both sides. And so why the TVs? Uh, you know, I, you know I, I have to watch so many uh, channels simultaneously, whether it's in business, or in economics, or politics, or finance, or... The Prince Alwalid bin Talal is the world's richest non-American. So rich, the TV room in his $200 million Riyadh palace is full of wildlife. This old giraffe here, how was that, how, how hard was that to shoot? This was, uh, was shot and hunted in South Africa. Prince Alwalid is the biggest single foreign investor in New York, a major shareholder in Western entertainment and a generous supporter of Palestinian charities. When Bin Laden uh, undertook this incredible uh, and horrendous terrorist act, many people in the Arab world, not, let alone Saudi Arabia, were, were joyful. Were joyful not because they liked the act per se, but they just wanted to give a message to America. And that's what we're trying to tell America. Please stop your blind uh, 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 approval of what Ms. Sharon is doing in, in Palestine and let, uh, and let the resolutions of the UN 242-338 be implemented as quickly as possible. <laughs> Prince Alwalid's new $700 million tower stands alone in Riyadh as a symbol of confidence in the country. Few of the oil billions have been reinvested here, and while Saudi Arabia aspires to the spoils of wealth, its society struggles with contradiction. Saudis admire much of what the West has to offer. In fact, many are rich enough to buy what they want of it. But 60% of the population is under 25. A third of them, or two and a half million people, can't find jobs. And without alternatives, wealth does not preclude extremism. Unemployment in any country in the world is, is a breeding ground for, uh, for social trouble, potentially. No doubt about that. And Saudi Arabia is no different. There's an imbalance here that has to be looked at. And this, this is another item that we're looking at very seriously. There have been several reports, the most recent of which was written at the request and for the United Nations, which document the fact that Saudis have, over the years, agreed to finance certain radical Islamic organizations on the silent condition that their operations and that their recruitment would be abroad and not at home. Look, uh, you're referring to the uh, media reports that say Saudi Arabia bribed or Saudi Arabia paid off Bin Laden al-Qaeda to be out Saudi Arabia. This is not correct at all. This is just, just media reports. Completely not correct because Bin, Laden of, Bin Laden's official position years ago was not only to hit America but also to hit Saudi Arabia. He is anti Saudi Arabia. He is anti ruling family. He is anti presence of America, uh, American troops in, in the Gulf region. So, how could we, I mean, how could someone dare to say that we were financing him and telling him to be outside of our country when he's trying to topple our regime here? 